Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Fright Night Flash, and today I'm going to be playing the Midnight Man. So, I was reading on how to play, basically. So I want to avoid this guy. Great. I want to avoid him until 3.33 a.m. I don't, I hope this is not real time, and I don't have to... You have to start, the game starts at 12 a.m. So, and then I have to survive at 3.33 a.m. I hope I don't have to spend three hours in this game, because I'm not going to do that. But even if I do do that, I'm probably going to die before that. So, who cares? So there's that. And then, the ritual. You can pause it. And then, I already read it. So, pause it if you want to read it that much, but I'm probably going to play it. So, let's start. There's a plane in the background. <laughs> I don't want to skip this. The Midnight Man. Oh! So if you read the uh, ritual thing, this is what we're doing right now. You knock on the door 22 times, and then you open the door, and then you relight the candle right away. Wow, I'm surprised I remembered that. Oh man, it is really... Uh, I have loud footsteps. Okay, I was reading the comments. Don't hide in the first room. No! No! Oh. No! Come on! Yes! Can't open that door. It didn't tell me. I'm playing again. <laughs> so sorry guys, I haven't made an episode in a while. But I've really been busy. I had to write an essay that was really long. And I didn't like it. Well, I I'm not going to say that. It wasn't that bad because we had to make a essay or we had to make our own essay it was fiction so fiction's easy for me i wrote seven pages in a week so page a day i guess okay let's start but um i don't like it in that room i'm not going in that room again Ugh. thank you Oh, and I can run too. Yeah. Oh my god. I don't like it upstairs though. I am not hiding in this room. What? 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 Come on. Uh, he's behind me. <gasps> F F uh, uh, I saw him. He's right there. 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 
la la la. Hello, mister. <laughs> what? That was stupid. What the heck? <laughs> I'm bad at this game. Let me retry. One more time. Three times a charm. So what was I saying? I was talking about my essay. Oh yeah. So it made seven pages, one day page. Yeah. And then I also had some other thing to do. After school stuff. Ugh. Oh, life is hard. Well, I guess my life isn't that bad, but, you know. Oh, I have 12 subscribers. Yes! Oh, no, 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 no. Why is he still there? He just sits there. I don't understand. Come on. Ah. <laughs> F. Oh, 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 oh. I see you there. I don't I think I died. No, I didn't. It just got really scary. Uh, uh, uh. <gasps> <gasps> Go! Just go! <laughs> what the heck is that? That looks like macaroni. Tasty. Oh, he stole that. Let's do, 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 do. Hello, Mr. Macaroni. <gasps> I don't know what's happening. I can't see. Oh, man. Well, I think I made it far enough. I made it 30 minutes. Yes. But you can't beat that. Well, this game will be... Oh, I want to finish talking about... No, I guess you don't, guys don't want to... Well, continue watching this episode if you want to hear me talk about my project. <laughs> um, so I had to make a uh, an essay, seven pages, on medieval times... And I had to be a dragon, and my story I thought was pretty awesome. So I'm just going to tell you a quick summary about it. It all starts with this dragon. He's called the Dimensioner, and he rules this town of Reldum. Now, I wrote all this, made it all up. I got some, uh, what's it called? 
I got a lot of the ideas from Skyrim, if you ever played that. Skyrim's a great game. Um, so, Reldum, and... It, the whole town was destroyed because that town did make a sacrifice to the dragon because he needs souls to survive and travel through dimensions. He could travel th through dimensions. Forgot to say that. That's why he's called a dimensioner. Um, and so the boy, he... Oh, sorry. Didn't get to that part. Forget I said that. Um, so a month earlier before that, a month before the town was destroyed, a, wiz a boy named Vlador had been born, and he was... He, a wizard, had cast a spell on him because he knew that he was the one. And that spell gave him, like, a decoy soul so that the dementia... Because the wizard knew he, he, could, he could look through the future. Because all wizards do that. I don't, I don't know. But I'm just going to make, like, this big... I hope I know how to do that. I think I know how to, like, make my whole face. I don't know. And then you won't be able to see this. Yeah, because it's, it's, never mind. Um, so then that, and then he was, ca so the spell, decoy soul, when the wizard, the, when the dimensioner, the dragon, did come, he took the decoy soul instead of his real soul, and... There was a girl named Alicent. She was out in the woods when the town was destroyed and, and the dragon took everyone's soul. So all that left was of the town was Vlador the baby and Alicent. And she, I didn't say how old she was, but I was thinking she was like eight when that happened. So a couple years after that, they were still in the town and they had survived somehow because it's, it's fictional. They just did it somehow. And the town got back... It was a poor town, so it was never really high in population, but the town got some more people, and they rebuilt the town. And Vlador, when he was 10, Alyssa told him a story on how he and the whole town was destroyed by the Dimensioner, and his parents. Vlador's parents was dead. Um, and he swore that he will get revenge for his parents and his town on the dragon. So, he trained... And then an old man came to the town and he gave him, he said, beware of something like beware for the dimensioner will come. Nobody knew except Vlador and Alyssa, but sh they didn't say anything to the other people. What the, they only Alyssa and Vlador knew what the old man was talking about. And the old man gave Vlador two white arrows and he said, <sighs> I forget. These will seek your revenge only if you hit the bullseye or something like that. And he didn't know what he meant, so he practiced his archery. And then, like a week later, the dragon had finally come. And once the dragon was like a hundred yards away, the um, Vlador knew what the old man meant when he said the bullseye. You have to hit the dragon in the eye to kill him. Both eyes. So, he shot the first arrow, it hit him straight in the left eye. Left. I, I thought I should put that in there to make it more, sound better. So, left eye. And then he tries shooting the second arrow, but the dragon makes a quick soup up and it hits his tail. And then, Alyssa says, Vlador, don't help me. And then, or something like that. And then Alyssa runs towards the dragon for as a distraction. And then, Vlador climbs onto the goes or climbs onto the dragon from the tail to the head and drives his sword into his right eye and then a bright flash happens and then he figures Vlador figures out that the dragon was a wizard and he was cursed to be that dragon and the only way that dragon could survive was he had to suck in or get eat souls so um and then he said thank you because he set him free of this curse but the only bad part about the curse was the person who kills that dragon becomes that dragon so then it flashed again and all Vlador saw was his own body fall off of his head I thought that was the best ending ever so if you watched throughout this whole video thank you and you just knew my story now but thanks for watching guys I hope you enjoyed this episode of Fright Night Flash even though it was frightening and a flash. Yeah. Okay. 
Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!